Here we go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. I'm going to be using the Pavo stamp by IOD today. So I thought I would um, show you guys. The stamp can be kind of intimidating, but it's very fun, fun, fun to use. So um, hopefully somebody's gonna pop on here in a second, but we're gonna get going as soon as it gets up over here. I'll have to catch the replay. Let's see, let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, hi, Rainbow505. How are you? Okay. So, and I hi, did Rainbow it again. Man, every time. Okay. Just when you think you know what you're doing, you don't. Okay. All right, here we go. So we're using the Pavo stamp. I don't know if you're familiar with the Pavo stamp. It has a lot of different parts to it, and it is actually a peacock. Hi, Sabrina. Hi. Thanks for coming, guys. Okay, so it's actually a peacock, a really big peacock. Um, let's see. So there's all these different parts to it. You can see um, there's all these. So there's actually a right and a left bird. And I really, really wish I had the other one because what did I do with it? Oh, it's over here. Okay. This is the one that I'm going to use today. So see, it comes with two. And so you can go, you know, this way, or you could go this way. We're going to go this way. So I'm going to keep this one out. So with this one, it's really fun. It's a good idea to do some masking. So if you haven't, hi. Okay, so if you haven't done masking before, I'm just going to go over that real quick before we get started. So what you do when you mask is you stamp and then you cut it out. So what I would do is I would load this with ink and I'd stamp wherever I was gonna stamp and then I'd put it right down here on this piece of paper and I would get it again. Oh, there's a little bit of ink on there. And then I would cut it out. So I have this um, cut out here and that way we can do some layering and building, okay? So I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't think I'm gonna cut it. You guys get the gist, right? You stamp it so you have the impression of it and then you cut it out and then you save these in the envelope and then that way you don't have to ever do it again you have them saved so let's go ahead and move on yeah the peacock's really fun so we're gonna start with the body so you remember when you're doing the layering whatever you put on first is going to be your foremost um well, I was watching the replay of the, oh yeah, oh cool. Um, but, but whatever you put on first is gonna be your foremost. Now I did paint this with DIY paint. I blended some colors, so we've kind of got this going on here. And this is actually supposed to be the top. Huh, let me flip it. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna do it this way. Now I'm a little bit nervous that I may have done this a little bit too dark. So, you know, it just, thank you. It could just all be a crap show, but that's okay. That'd be normal for me, right? Okay, so we're gonna start with our peacock. We wanna just kind of get a little bit of a placement. I think we're gonna go kind of like this, and then we're gonna go down with the tail over here. So let's load this up. So we know with our peacock, Usually, like this is blue and then you start going into some greens and stuff. So let me, I don't wanna stamp my board accidentally. Um, yeah, on your break at work. Well, that's cool, you're still working. Okay, so I'm gonna take the blue ink. This I have blue loaded in here already. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit my bird's neck, get that on there pretty good. So I want it to, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's gonna show up on here and um, be cool, you know? And if not, then, you know, whatever, but. So we're just gonna stamp around here with the blue. I'm kind of trying to go around the beak and stuff because I wanna try to add some more color here in a minute. 
So let's do the blue there. Let's get these little guys up here with blue. And let's do just a little bit of blue down here in his feathers. Maybe right there in the middle a little bit. Okay, that away. Now let's get the black. So I'm gonna try to just get his beak and his eyeball with the black. And I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but let's try it. That, that, and then these little stringies that hold up his whatever. What is that thing on the top of his head called? I don't even know. Hopefully I got that good enough. Kind of hard to tell. So you guys all doing good? I hope you are. All right, so now we're gonna go back in with the green. This is where the ink pads are really nice. Normally I use a brayer, but for this, you can get a lot more um, without having to clean your brayer so much. So I'm gonna kind of go around like that and hope that's good. Here we go, are you ready? So remember with the stamps, we always leave them on their backing. Just leave it on there. That way you've got handles. You don't have to try to figure out how to um, hold it, you know? So I was just leave those on, just cut it off. Let's put that here. And here we go. Okay, so we're gonna kind of go like, like that, put it down, and then we're gonna rub it, give it some pressure, make sure all those little um, details are touching without smushing off to the side. We got all that. And dun dun dun. Here it's a moment of truth. Is it gonna show up? And it will. Yay! Okay, so that's pretty cool, right? Hi, Cherry. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put it over here because I don't need that anymore. So now we've got our pretty pretty peacock. It actually turned out really, really pretty, huh? Hi guys. So let's let that dry. I actually loaded that quite a bit with ink. So if I put my paper down right on top of that right now, it's um, it might smear. So I don't want that to happen. Might have to get the heat gun out. Sorry, Nook. My dog is down here. He insists on being in the garage with me lately. So he has a bed right here, but he gets very frustrated with me because I have to get in those drawers all the time, so I have to make him move. All right, let's dry this up real quick. Is everybody doing good? Just hanging out? That's what I'm doing. Hanging out. I went to Lowe's this morning to look for, um, they have the, you know, their sale plants. I didn't see any that were worth trying to save, but... Ooh, I did get a cactus though. Hi. Uh, oh, chairs, yeah. Yeah, potting's fun too. Chairs are not fun though, I agree. Totally agree. Okay. You getting bugged with me, Knuckles? You wanna go inside? You put nothing. Come here. In here. Let's go in. Good boy. Okay, no doggy. So now we have this on here. So this is our foremost front picture. And that's what we want. But so what we're gonna do is take our mask. We're gonna put it right over it. So that way we can start building on top but everything else is gonna kinda of look like it comes from behind instead of ruining our, our um, peacock body, right? So I think the next thing we're gonna do, where's my, um, try to make this like tail feather right here. Cause that's how they kinda of look. They kinda of have a, like a tail feather, right? That comes here and then we'll start going down. So we're gonna take this one, get our paper back so we don't, Get ink and we're gonna start going with more greens and blues. So I'm gonna get my green out again 
Go ahead and get that nice, nice and good. But I'm gonna put a tiny bit of blue on there. Also, just kind of hit the edges a little bit. And then we're gonna take it. Thanks, guys. And let's go, let's see. So we're kind of going, we want it to be like this. So let's go, uh, how about right there? Ha, just gotta do it, just gotta commit, right? Hope that you got it right. Explain the background color, what I did back here, Mary? The blending? Um, tell me, and then I will, if that's what you mean. Okay, so now we're gonna lift that up. We've got our pretty little tail. Okay, so back here, this is um, Fancy Farm Girl with Hay Sailor and a tiny bit of crinoline, just kind of blended. I, I put like Hay Sailor here, Fancy Farm Girl here, added a little bit of crinoline right here in the middle, and then I blended it like that. Should I use ink or paint to stencil ceramic tiles? Now, you can do either, but you're gonna always get a crisper, crisper image with the ink than you are with the paint. The paint's gonna be a little bit more vintage looking, a little bit um, more, not as clean, okay? So if you want it crisper, cleaner, use the ink. If you don't, then use your paint, okay? You're welcome, either way. So if we look, the, pull this up, now we can see this tail feather came from behind his butt, from underneath versus being in front of it. So let's go ahead and put that back down. And now we're gonna take the mask for this feather right here, wherever it is. And so these are kind of cool. They have them reversible because it has the other bird that goes the other way. So you can just take it and um, flip it upside down and it's still gonna work for you. Like that, okay. So now let's start building up our big part, big part of our tail. I'm gonna start building this up, and then this is what, and then we're gonna start building around that with the feathers. So I think we're gonna go right about here. So let's go ahead and load that up. I'm just gonna kinda of keep going green and blue, cause that's uh, pretty much what they are. And then we'll add some other little details in when we get to the smaller feathers. But they are mostly green, but I really like to have a lot of blue in there too because it will, because I can. It's my peacock, right? Thank you, girls. Okay. So now we're gonna take this one and let's go probably right let's go right there and just commit once you once you decide where you want it just got to drop it down and do it squish it down everywhere but don't squish sideways make sure you're touching and pull it back up so yay that's pretty huh now, if I would have done this a lighter color, this would show up so, so much more, but I kind of got fun with what I had fun <laughs> with what I was doing. So, you know, what do you do? Okay, so now we're going to take this mask here. Let's put it over that. Like that. And let's go ahead and load this up again. Let's use this green again. And some blue it's kind of spreading it around a little bit I hope you got it all it's hard to tell when they start having lots of ink on them okay so now in here so now I want his tail to be even longer so I'm gonna give this a try right here. So I'm gonna put this front side down because I gotta go over this lip here in a second. I'm gonna really try to squish it into here. 
and then down and hope that I don't have too much of a separation right there. And back up. So there's a little bit of a line there you can see, but meh. oh well, it's cool, right? Okay, let's put that over there. And let's see. So I'm gonna get out this one and put that directly over that. So now we're all covered up and we are ready to go. Let's see um, how much you can do without getting paid or ink on your, oh, I no, I do, look. <laughs> I do. Um, yeah, they are very bendable, which is really, really nice. It can, makes it easier to do more, right? So let's see, what do we need now, ladies? We need some feathers. Let's get some feathers in there. So. Just take them and kind of figure out which way if we do that. Oops. Oops. Hold on. Get your masking back. Oops. Don't smear it all over, Melanie. Jeez. Okay. How about if it goes that way? Mm, maybe not. Maybe this one. Let me see. This feather, no, that's the same feather. I don't wanna do that. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. So let's go ahead and get some blue on there and more green. And then I think we're gonna start adding some more colors here in a second, maybe. Uh, eh. How about, let's do that one right there. So, uh, I'm, I'm not even doing, I don't know. I'm just doing it, guys. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. <laughs> if I'm even going to put it, I'm probably going to put it against the wall at the store. And if somebody wants it, they can buy it. Because um, I, don't, I don't need it. I'm just uh, keeping myself entertained. And I thought I would do it with you guys. Well, that's really what I'm doing. Okay. Covered that one up. Let's see. This one. All right, you know what? Let's pick it up and see what it looks like so we can see if we're even on the right path. So we take all these off. Then we can see what we have going on underneath and see if there's anything. Okay, so we're doing pretty good, right? We got a pretty good base here going. Um, Two dollars, wow, you're awesome. Not here, It'd be like, I don't know, 15? They're ridiculous, our habitat's horrible. Let me see, I have a form over here. All right, so we need to add in some stuff here. We need to thicken, we need to thicken up our tail, basically. Let's put this back down. And this one here again. This one, okay, let's thicken it up. So right, we need some right in here. Let's, let's use a feather. So these ones are, let's see, they're smaller. They're really pretty. Let's put a feather, but let's start, let's use a little color for this. So we're gonna go a little bit of green at the bottom of it. And then we're gonna do some blue around the edges. Like that, but true to peacocky kind of form, let's put some red right on the dude in the middle. And let's put one of these guys, let's go right here. Get that one on there. I don't even know if that's where I wanted that. That was probably a bad idea. Ha, <laughs> oh well. Okay, let's see, what if we do, 
Let's do this one. Let's put a little bit of red on there. And then back with our green. And take this one and put it right, let's do it right there. Pull that one up, okay. So if we do that, Put that on there. Be careful while your ink's still wet. You don't wanna, okay? Or you'll ruin it. Well, you won't ruin it, but you'll blur it, you know. Road trip, Anastasia. Easier if you lay your stamps out. Yeah, of course it would. <laughs> you could most definitely do that, girl. I think that's a fabulous idea. Of course that wouldn't work for me because you guys have my phone but but yeah do that do that or you can just wing it <laughs> whatever you want to do sounds like you're a planner anesthesia it's just good i love your videos thanks girl you need a better vehicle <laughs> You guys want to come see me? All New Mexico places are junky for pre Yep, yep. You are. I know. Utah sounds like they have incredible thrift stores. They're like free. Like, wow. How do you guys even make a living? That's awesome. Everything here is not free <laughs> by any means. Even the free stuff, you know? donations it's and it's still super pricey let's do this guy down here with some blue and let's see we can put it down and then go around the corners a little bit and of course you know if we wanted to get real particular we could always fill these in with a paintbrush or whatever when we were done but uh, I doubt seriously I'll be doing that, but you guys could do that if you wanted. All right, let's lift all these up and see what we have. So that's kind of pretty. We could make it a little fuller if we wanted to have these guys. No, not that one. That one would be pretty right there. And I think it's definitely a good idea to paint your background a little lighter than I painted mine. Because it'll just show up better. Uh, how about right there? And down. Okay, now we're going to take these little dudes. These little tiny guys. And they're kind of like for right here as it goes to like kind of, well, that's what I think they're for. Kind of fill in. Make it look a little thicker. So I'm going to take that, put it down. I have a little bit of a, a lighter blue that I made. I'm just going to hit that real lightly right there. And then go around it. Blue in the front kind of. And then let's go down to green and take this little guy and let's just kind of overlap because we want, again, this is our foremost, our forefront there. Do it again real quick. And that is just about how did, wait. Just hold on, how did you get print so perfectly? No ideas. Oh, well, you're watching. I don't know. I don't know what you mean exactly. Let's put it here. I like the smaller ones. The bigger ones seem a little bit obnoxious to me, so 
I don't know, it just doesn't seem proportioned. I'll kind of step back and take a look. I'm kind of wondering. I don't know. Nah, it's good. I like it. Okay, sometimes you gotta just say, I like it, right? So if we turn her around so you guys can see, hopefully you can see, she's kind of pretty, right? And that is the Pavo stamp by IOD. I could definitely keep going and make her tail thicker. Um, I might do that, like right here, put some more, just make it. But I just think it's such a, such a pretty stamp. And whether you do colors or you do solids, it just doesn't matter. Well, that is it, guys. So this is our, um, our little break today. I hope you guys are doing good. I um, Don't forget, you can get all this stuff on my website at windmillvintagedesigns.com. And um, look, I just said I wasn't going to do this, and now I'm going to do it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And I hope you're doing good. Hopefully we'll be able to open the store sometime May 15th, I guess is what they're saying. So um, hopefully everybody will be healthy until uh, round two of this virus hits us in September. So that's what they're saying. As soon as it starts getting cold again and flu season comes, then, you know, I don't know how this is all going to work out, but that's what I heard. Did you guys hear that too? Send me that door. Oh, Cherry, girlfriend, I will have to, you know what, will you email my Facebook page, um, give me your address and stuff, and I will have to weigh it. It's a really heavy, 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 solid, solid, solid door, so as much as I appreciate that, I it might be really expensive, um, like really, <laughs> like 40 bucks or something like that, so... If you want me to check, I can I can uh, make a custom box for it because it'll be a lot cheaper that way than using one from the post office. Um, and then if you send me your address, okay, um, then I can I can get you a shipping quote. But I don't want you to you know freak out <laughs> when it's because it's very it is not a light door. It is um, look, I mean it it's solid, and the other side is halfway painted. <laughs> Look, if you want to know how to use the chippy paint stamp, that, that's it right there. Um, you heard more coming. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I'll take a picture and um, put it in the, the thumbnail for this video. But that is that. I'll try to come up with something. I'm out of furniture, so, well, I have one piece, but it's just kind of a yucky one. Okay, guys, thank you so much. It's nice to see you. And I, I do hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.